Let's talk about the new Matrix trailer. You might already know that I love movies. I take a lot of cues from the film world to make my productions feel more epic. Sound design is a core part of my approach to music, and I think there's a lot to learn from this example. There's many things that make this trailer special, but in this video, I'm gonna focus on a few aspects of the audio production. The song choice, music theory, and additional instrumentation work together to make this one of the coolest movie trailers that I've seen in a long time. And the ones that mother gives you the featured song that plays throughout the whole thing is White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane, who started off as a house band in the club called... By the way, in the trailer, to mention it for the last time, we hear uh, the wonderful song of Chris Slick, which is the song um, about Alice in Wonderland in a way, and this book, White. I saw the book of Alice in Wonderland in the trailer, so is this kind of, of a reference? It goes much deeper than that. Yeah? The actual <laughs> Grace Slick performed White Rabbit for this club that was open that Jefferson was basically created to be the house band of this club. And that club was called Matrix. Really? This little detail outlines how much thought was put into musical direction. It's a great choice because the lyrics directly reflect the concepts in the movie. Are we living in a simulation? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. One pill makes you larger. The song starts with a reference to pills, specifically one that makes you larger and one that makes you small. When this lyric plays, we see Keanu Reeves taking psychiatric medication. This immediate reinforcement tells the audience to pay attention to pills. This is validated later in the trailer when we see a recreation of the classic Matrix scene where Morpheus gives Neo the choice between the red and blue pill. This foreshadowing is a great example of how audio and visuals can work together to put the audience in the world of a film. The lyrics go on to make a series of references to Alice in Wonderland, which is a story about distorted and strange realities. This is awesome because it's a widely recognized franchise that gives new viewers an idea of what The Matrix is about. Time to fly. A really important technique when making commercial art is to make it feel familiar, which helps art connect with a wider audience. Modern pop music has guidelines about structure and lyricism that make the listener feel like they already know the song the first time they hear it. The same sort of thing is at play here. Even if you've never seen The Matrix, you've probably read or heard about Alice in Wonderland. This helps a first time viewer latch onto the theme. The song ends with the line, feed your head, being repeated several times. In the trailer, this is repeated over the most exciting action scenes that we see. It's interesting because what we see on screen is a bunch of impressive physical actions like fighting, jumping, and shooting, yet the lyrics refer to improving your mindset. It's a reminder that this isn't just an action movie, this is The Matrix, a movie where the central theme is that reality is not what it seems, and you can't escape it until you shift your perspective. This is a technique I like to use when producing, making the lyrics fit into the greater theme and aligning them with what's going on in the instrumental. It's important to consider the whole piece, not just the specific section I'm working on at the moment. Keeping themes in mind helps drive a song toward a goal rather than letting it just be a bunch of scattered ideas. The clearer the theme, the easier writing each section becomes. I think the song choice works really well for this trailer. If it were replaced with something else, it would be a completely different vibe. This is something that is important to keep in mind when doing sound design. Anything from synth patches to drum samples have an effect on the personality of the song. Aligning all of these components gives a piece of art a strong identity. There's a lot of great stuff going on in the note choice of the music. White Rabbit starts with a snare roll and a solo vocal. The notes that Grace Slick sings in the intro build tension by avoiding the root of the chord progression. The vocal delivery is a lot of sustained notes that make the whole thing feel very atmospheric and surreal. Once the chords resolve, the song starts building momentum. That lets the viewer know that they should prepare for something exciting. When she's ten feet tall. The major chords that follow have a victorious feel and are heard while the on-screen character looks in a mirror and literally turns a page in a book. All these choices drive home the point that this is a revelation. The protagonist is figuring out that the world they live in is false. 
strings, guitars, electronic, and rhythmic layers come in in the second verse, which makes the whole thing feel more epic. There's a great use of silence to highlight some dialogue before we reach the climax of the song. You don't know me. This use of space and silence really controls the pacing of the trailer and emphasizes the emotional impact of each beat. After everything kicks back in, the strings are playing octaves and there's a gated synth line that follows the chord progression. These strings use more leading tones to transform the third verse from atmospheric to super tense. The song ends with the chords from the chorus and a ton of really exciting stuff like 16th note string runs, really strong rhythmic emphasis, and low brass. The build at the end makes use of some great dissonance with the brass and one section of the strings by sustaining an A while the 16th notes move up half a step every two beats. These notes clash a few times which creates an uneasy feeling, then it resolves with a drum hit and the reverb tail of the vocal. After one more line of dialogue, the resolution chord is repeated with full instrumentation. This use of music theory really outlines the emotional impact of the whole trailer and works very well with the scenes that are shown from the movie. Theory and pacing is really important when working on music no matter what genre or application. A listener should be guided through a musical experience and given clear indications of how a part is supposed to feel. The notes, performance, sound design, and mix should all work together to achieve this goal. The last thing I'm gonna cover here is the instrumentation. The synthetic, organic, and rhythmic layers on top of the song reinforce the world that the trailer is preparing you for. They're a bridge between what we see on screen and what happens in the music. There are tons of electronic elements synced with the music that add intensity and tension. These artificial sounds also make the 60s song sound more modern, and that's important for two reasons. Number one, it sounds more appropriate for today's audience. Viewers expect to have a certain amount of bass, compression, and depth that's missing in the original recording. So these electronic parts actually help flesh out the composition. And number two, The Matrix is a sci-fi movie, so the sound design needs to be more futuristic than 1965. Without these electronic noises, the technology we see on screen is not gonna match up with the audio that we hear. It's not music in the traditional sense at all. But let me put it this way, the apprehension engine definitely evokes an emotion, so I would call it music. Several unusual instruments like the apprehension engine and the water phone have actually been created to add texture to a film's score. These instruments use a bunch of different components like strings, resonators, and percussion to create unique and unsettling sounds. They're pretty popular in horror soundtracks, but they're used for sci-fi stuff too. And while a lot of orchestral stuff is programmed for film, it's not unusual to have a few real strings, brass, and woodwinds layered on top to add some realism. I really love how they handled the rhythmic sound effects. Punches, gunshots, slams, and drums are all synchronized with the song. This not only makes the song hit harder, but also creates expectation from the viewer about what's gonna happen next. This anticipation gives the trailer motion and adds excitement as it goes. The sound effects start out very sparse, and as the trailer goes on, they get more prominent. By the end, there's a whole rhythm section that wasn't there in the beginning. This makes the most exciting audio match up with the most exciting visual section, since this is where all of the fighting and explosions are. I constantly add post-production in my own work to make the important sections hit harder. Extra drums, slams, risers, and other sound effects make a song feel larger than life. This same concept was applied here. By synchronizing regular sound effects with the huge rhythmic hits, those scenes themselves feel more impactful.
And that's it. As I mentioned, everything that makes this trailer so impressive is a technique you can use when you're making commercial music. The right choices on notes, sounds, delivery, and pacing are what separate an incredible song from an average one. I hope other artists take note of this trailer and find inspiration for their own work in it. Are you excited about The Matrix coming back? Did you find it exciting as I did? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to check out our first ever post-production sample pack by JST. It's called Chaos Volume 1, and it features over 100 different samples separated into seven different categories, with many of the samples synchronized to BPM and key for added ease of use. If you're tired of wasting time searching the internet for lackluster samples or trying to make your own, this pack has everything you need. Check it out, joysturgistones.com. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tap that bell to get notified when we upload new videos. That's all for this one. Until next time, happy mixing.